So with Flash, when she was born, she sadly lost her mum. Her mum got very sick after she was born. So we hand, started hand rearing her. I would say it's more difficult than having a child, having had a child as well. Baby sloths are not designed to come off their parents and lay in a cot like babies are. So you have to have them attached to you almost 24 hours a day. During the day, she would ride around on my chest uh, or inside my jacket. She would probably start waking up around about eight o'clock in the evening and she would want to be active. And so that would be close to when I would normally go to bed, but you couldn't just leave her in an incubator and ignore her. That would be detrimental to her mental health, if you like. I would stay up with her until three, four o'clock in the morning, interacting with her playing mum, basically giving her three hourly feeds. And she was brought up on goat's milk uh, and vegetables. One of the good things about baby sloths is they feed on solid foods from almost sort of within a week of being born. And then she would come to work with me uh, the next day and that would be how we would roll for about a year. So there was a lot of sleep deprivation. It was probably the hardest year of my life, but it was one of the best years of my life. Hand rearing affected my family uh, to the sense that sleep deprivation, I was quite cranky quite a bit of the time. Strangely, I was at my most peaceful when I was with Flash, but my wife is an ex-zookeeper, so she understands what I do, uh, and she was very, very supportive. I was very lucky that I had um, another zookeeper here, Gemma, who was kind of doing the hand rearing with me, so we could share a little bit just to have like a respite. There are a couple of funny stories with hand rear and flash. Um, sloths urinate and defecate about once a week. Uh, and when they're babies, you see them swell over that week. They become absolutely massive to the point you think they're gonna burst. Because you can't take them off of you and just put them down every five minutes, I mean, they've got 10 claws on them holding on to you. Sometimes you need to go to the toilet yourself. And so uh, I only made this mistake a couple of times, go to the toilet. Sloths are stimulated to urinate on hearing water. So as I was using the bathroom, she naturally wheedled down me as well. Flash, to begin with, she was very much like family. A joke within the zoo is actually I was happier when Flash was born than when my own son was born and even he, he knows that obviously it's a joke but it's, uh, it's a joke that I like to use quite a bit. <laughs> she was my sole focus for a year so I suppose a little bit like you would have a cat or a dog which is part of the family um, that's very much what she was like but I never lost sight of the fact that she's a wild animal and that she needs to return to sloth society uh, and, and become a natural sloth. To see her now she doesn't want to come over and be held uh, she doesn't need to get up and be interacted with or hand fed she's in with a, a male sloth and she's very happy with him. So for me, uh, I, to, to, to brag, couldn't have done it better really. If, uh, if she was still wanting a cuddle or a bottle, uh, nearly three years old, I would think mm, maybe I did something wrong, but actually she's, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit I, sometimes I feel a bit sad. I, I almost want to have a cuddle with her, but I would never go that far. <laughs>